I'm Jon von Tetzner, co-founder and CEO of Vivaldi. I started in 1994 and built opera and I had quit opera some years ago in, in 2011. And I was kind of thinking that I was, I was done with browsers, not because I was not happy with building browsers, but wanting to do something different. But then there was a there was a bit of a change. There was a decision by my old company to to throw away what we've done before um, and change the design philosophy and build a different kind of browser. And the feeling was then that there was no browser that was made for me and all those people that had chosen to use Opera in the past. So it was really about okay, there was it used to be this great browser that we were building. It had a, a significant following, and those users were contacting me and saying, hey, can't you do something? And I couldn't really do anything about what was happening at Opera, but I could restart and, and build a browser from scratch. Vivaldi is different. If you look at the different browsers that are in the market, they have a different, they have a different approach. I mean, most of the browsers, they're trying to just be easy to use, and they do that by removing a lot of functionality. Um, but eventually you get to the point where you don't feel that the browser has what you need. And um, we believe that instead of you adapting to a piece of software, we should adapt to you. So you should feel that the browser is made for you and that we provide functionality that feels natural for you to use. And that's kind of what we're doing with Vivaldi. We add a lot of functionality, a lot of different ways to do things and people are finding it just feels natural. So far, we, we just got started. We've had a, a few million downloads and we are closing in on the first million of active users. But there was a lot of people that really wanted to see more in their browser. Um, we've been seeing a trend, again, with Opera chains, with uh, Firefox doing the same, where they use statistics to remove functionality. And, it, and, and people want something that's more special. And so they, 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 there's been a lot of people that just want to see a, a browser with more functionality and, and Vivaldi is fresh, it's different, it looks good, um, and people like that. What happened with, with Opera is Opera went in a totally different direction. So where we are more of, we are more in the spirit of what we used to do at Opera, which is a lot of functionality, and we are gradually then adding more functionality to that. And so the combination of just doing a lot of what people are asking for. So there's a very close relationship with end users. I mean, yesterday I had an event with, with uh, users here in Ukraine. I had events also uh, in Paris and in Brussels with end users where we meet up and we discuss. We, we send out releases all the time where we get feedback from users, where we gradually improve the product to, to do more. Because people are different. People have different opinions on how things should be done. And, that's, and we continue on that path, while Opera left that path and said, OK, let's be like all the others. Let's just build a minimal viable product. Uh, let's have a couple of kind of mark you features. Uh, but otherwise, there is not much difference between the different browsers. They have their unique selling points or, or not. Uh, but we, we just try to adapt to the user. And, and that, that is, I don't think there's anyone doing this. I, I think the kind of, I mean, relationship we have with users. We have volunteers, hundreds of people that are helping us. We have a very active community that uh, talks about what we are doing. So I think we have a special relationship with people and a special community overall. Most people are using Chrome. Yeah. So I think that would be the natural one. There's Chrome, there's Firefox, there's Microsoft, there's uh, Apple. And I mean, obviously there is Opera. So the, for the most practical purpose, th th those are the people that we are competing with. Um, there really isn't that many browsers uh, in the market. They, most people only know these five. Ukraine is special. Uh, Ukraine is one of our top countries, but at Opera we had a massive following in, in, in Ukraine. Uh, on the PC side, we had uh, close to 40% market share. Uh, and on mobile side, we had 80% market share. So from that perspective, I've, uh, we, we had a strong following. So it's very natural for me to, to go to Ukraine and, and, and talk to Ukrainian users. I did that when we were at Opera as well. 
I came over here, I talked to people, and I loved it. I mean, people are very enthusiastic and, and they liked what we were doing. And I'm hoping that we will gradually get the same kind of uh, following here in Ukraine. But we are starting, and clearly there's a lot of people that know about us, that know what we did at Opera, and, and they liked what we did at Opera, and they're liking what we're doing now with Vivaldi. So we, we have a uh, hope that uh, we'll get a very significant market share. And, and so far it started very well, where Ukraine is is one of our top countries. Probably about 5% of our users is in Ukraine. The US is number one currently, uh, Japan is number two, and Russia number three, and then there's a number of countries that are doing like uh, Germany is doing quite well. It, it's about the personal touch, right? Mm -hmm. And sometimes I ask questions like, how many tabs do you have open? D depending on your usage. I mean, there, there's a few details there. Um, with Vivaldi, you start off where you left off. Now, that's a setting in Chrome, so you can choose that. Um, if you like to have a lot of tabs open, and sometimes, I mean, I do. Let's, let's say you're going on a trip, right? And because you're going on a trip, you open up a lot of tabs related to that tab, this, this particular trip. And it starts to crowd your tab bar, and your tabs get smaller and smaller. So we did something called tab stacking, and that allows you to drag the tabs on top of each other. And, and, and by doing that, you're able to um, handle a lot more tabs in this way. Now, you have a small laptop. If you connect that to a big screen, let's say a 4K screen, maybe even 40 inch, seeing web pages or that is actually fairly meaningless because you only use a small fraction of the screen. So we added the capability to tile tabs so you could see multiple pages at the same time, which is, again, depending on what you're doing, is very useful. Um, we have added uh, web panels. With web panels, you can add your own panels. And those, so you just select a web page and you put it there. Maybe it's thesaurus, maybe it's uh, uh, some kind of stream, a Twitter stream or something like that, tweet deck or something like that. And you put that into the panel and then it's easily accessible at any one time. There's a lot of details like this. Um, I mean, out of the box, when you start the browser, you notice it's more colorful. And I mean, it changes colors. A lot of people like that. I mean, why does the browser have to be gray? Yeah. So, and then people tr find, uh, start to change something. We, we find people have different opinions. How do they use tabs? Again, some people like to have them at top. That's kind of the default. Some people like at the left or the right or at the bottom. And some people want to have as big space as possible. So they don't show the tabs unless you switch them. The same way is it's kind of, okay, how, like, how do you like to go back and forth in history? Um, you like to click the buttons. You use the mouse gestures where you can do the right mouse button, left mouse button, or, or the, the drag, right mouse button and drag. Um, you use the keyboard. So we have all these different ways of, of interacting. And you can find your way, which feels natural. And I don't know how many hours per day you spend with a browser, but a lot of people spend a significant a lot, of, a lot of time. A lot of time. And, and clearly, if it's a tool that you use this much, actually having a few things that allows you to do things faster and more efficient or more fun it is a good thing. And that's kind of what we are trying to do is to, to have it more personal, have it so you, it feels right for you.